We're making apple cinnamon snickerdoodles today. I know, they're as good as they sound. And I'm just finishing up doing a tight dice on some Granny Smith apples so we can get those into a bowl. I'll give you a little tip as you are preparing your apples for the cookies. You may want to sprinkle a little lemon juice on top of your apples just to keep them from oxidizing or turning brown. Now to start our cookie dough, we're going to begin with the dry ingredients. And already in the bowl is flour, a little cornstarch, and some baking powder. Now to that, I'll add some nutmeg, some ground cinnamon, and a little salt for balance. Now let's get a whisk and make sure that all of this is nicely incorporated. Move slowly with this so you don't end up making a mess on the countertop. And just very gently fold in all those spices so that when we add this to the wet, it all comes together beautifully. Now, what we're going to do is get busy with the wet ingredients. So the first thing you're going to do in your stand mixer is cream the butter. And this process will go a lot faster if your butter is already room temperature. So we'll pop this down and turn it on about a medium speed. Now our butter is nice and fluffy and we're going to add in the sugar now, but back your speed down when you add that sugar so you end up keeping your countertop nice and clean. In goes some light brown sugar and some cane sugar. I'll bring our speed back up and let all that sugar and the butter cream. Now this process comes together pretty quickly. The next step is to add in three whole eggs and add them as best you can one at a time so they incorporate more evenly and completely. One, there's two, and then finally three. This is going to loosen up your dough a bit and pull all of those ingredients together. Now that this is incorporated, we want to start adding in the dry ingredients. And again, so that you don't make a mess on your countertop, you can stop the mixer, tilt it back, and add in a little bit of the dry, but do this in sections, a little bit at a time, so it incorporates nicely and you don't end up with it on your countertop. So our cookie dough is all mixed, and now it's time for the final step. I'll take my bowl, move this over to the cutting board, and that's where the diced apples come in. Now, we're not putting these into the stand mixer because we don't want the beater blade to mash up the apple. We want to fold it in and try to keep those whole chunks inside the cookie. All right, so all the apple goes into the bowl. We fold those diced apples into the cookie dough and get them nice and evenly incorporated. Once they're all folded inside, grab your one tablespoon scoop because there's one more step before these go into the oven. Now, we'll take our one tablespoon scoop. We'll take these out, roll them into a little ball. They'll be sticky, but that's okay because we want them to go into cinnamon sugar and right onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. Now, we're gonna pop this into a countertop oven because it's always nice not to have to heat up the great big oven when you want just a few cookies or an after school snack for the kids. Quick, easy, and fresh, perfect for fall or any time you're looking for a great snack. These are going to bake in a 350 oven for about nine minutes.